Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some more updates regarding EA's responses to questions about the whole black market icon moments scandal issue, uh, whatever you call it that is going on right now inside of FIFA 21. There is a interview that happened between The Mirror uh, in the UK and the EA Sports spokesperson, which of course was not name dropped or mentioned by name, but EA have made some statements that has been kind of moving around the internet today and it's causing a lot of stir in the FIFA community and we need to talk about it. Of course, just a quick little rundown. If you were not aware, there is an allegation against FIFA 21 that there are employees inside of the company that were giving out icon moments uh, into people's accounts untradeable in FIFA for exchange of a little bit of money under the table, you know? So obviously EA, since it impacts them personally, it is an employee at EA Sports that is doing this, they launched an investigation. They released this update four days ago uh, about what is going on. The full invest is, investigation is underway. And they uh, they said they basically stopped content granting uh, in, in its entirety, which is like giving pro players their pro player cards or, you know, all that, that that entails. I'll link this if you have not read it down below in the description. That was released, obviously, a couple days ago. But today we have a new update from the Mirror website a news source from the uk and i want to talk about what this article and what these responses from ea are kind of bringing out in the community right now with all of the just the responses that ea had here and obviously uh we know that ea sometimes doesn't seem to understand their own game but some of the stuff that they said today is really really crazy so let's get right into it let's cut to the chase because this the, there's some crazy crazy stuff in here i'm going to go through these early on questions in this article really fast because there's not a lot of juice here but um ea said they have launched a rigorous investigation their initial investigation shows questionable activity so they have found stuff right they are finding stuff which we know that they should uh and again they go to an extent here to say that it involves a very small number of accounts and items to make it try to you know minimize the problem a little bit so uh, they, they were asked if they would provide full transparency regarding the results. Uh, and they did not say yes or no to that. They just said, we will continue to prov provide updates, which they have done decently well so far. So we'll keep an eye on that. Now, of course they talked about content granting again, and then, you know, how it is even possible that's in the pitch notes, like they linked. Um, and again, they have, they go to this length to say, these grants have no impact on the odds of any player in the ecosystem or the market acquiring these players. So they're saying that them granting items into different people's accounts, whether it be for, like they mentioned, their employees, for uh, professional events, or for testing, uh, it does not affect the pack weight at all, or the ability for normal Joe Schmo to go get uh, a card on the market. So they did say that there. They mentioned that they are able to track this level of, of information that they can track any specific player item on the game. Now, how, you know, we see a lot of things in FIFA where, you know, maybe you lost your card or uh, somebody quick sold your card. They, they can track every single card in this game, like to, down to the card, right? Every single gold Furland Mendy that is on this game. There's thousands of them, right? Every single one of those they can track. Anyways, let's move on because this is where it gets really, really, really good, right? Some professional FIFA players have said that they have to spend thousands of pounds when the latest FIFA gaming title is released in order to have a competitive advantage in order to be competitive during qualifiers and in the build-up to major events uh, at the start of the competitive cycle, which in the view of some is creating an unequal playing field for the professional community. Now, EA responds to this and says, FIFA Ultimate Team is a multifaceted game of skill. Oh, okay. It's important to note that you can acquire all items in the game without ever spending money with purchases being entirely optional. Now, let's talk about this is technically true, right? Be but EA is stretching the truth so far. Basically, what they're saying here is that, yeah, technically it's possible, right? You can be a top 100 trader and you can get yourself to 15 million coins by the time Icon Moments come out. You can go buy that Icon Moments Ronaldo. But let's think about it here. How many people in this game actually run RTG, no money spent, and trade slash play the game and grind the hours, right? to get to 15 million coins, right? Basically, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna be doing it through trading. Top 100 rewards, unless you get insanely lucky pack, in, insanely lucky pack luck and pack an icon or like a team of the year card earlier in the year, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to get to 15 million coins. Really, really hard. And I would venture to say 
that there are probably less than like 20 to 30,000 people in this entire world that are first owner RTG, no money spent, and have 15 million coins. I would venture to say there are very, very few people. And that number of my guesstimation might even be very high. I'm just trying to make a number to throw out there because there are millions of people that play this game. So just think about that though. Think about that though. EA thinks that it is it is very possible for you without buying FIFA points to attain all items in this game, whether at one time or you know separate times, right? Any professional competitive player needs to demonstrate the skills of the meta game in order to be considered proficient enough to compete at an elite level. Okay, now this is where it gets real good. This is where it gets real freaking good, man. Okay, so they say that any professional competitive player, any professional pro competitive player needs to demonstrate the skills of the meta game in order to consider to be considered proficient to compete at an elite level, which includes right? Which includes trading, economy monitoring, squad rotation, and challenge completion. So basically, EA, in the mind of EA, if you're a pro player, no wonder they tweet all these stuff out about pro players being like the next, the next best thing basically to football players in the world. They tweet about all this stuff like they love them because in their minds, they're masters at playing the game at the meta trading economy monitoring squad and rotation and sbcs when a lot of times if you're a pro player you're spending all of your time playing the game to be good at it you don't want to worry about the rest of this stuff you don't want to worry about having to you know as my you know team of the year mbappe right now at 6.8 million coins in early february is he going to be 6.5 or 6 million coins at the beginning of March where I need to sell them so that I don't lose a lot of coins. Well, then what if you sell the card? Then you're not going to have the best and bop in the game to play with and compete at the highest level that you need to as a pro player. So EA here is saying that pro players have to be proficient at trading, economy monitoring, squad rotation, and challenge completion. I don't even know where to begin with this comment. It's like every single person that plays FIFA at a pro level in EA's mind has to be an absolute combination of a trader, a pro player. Uh, you have to know supply and demand and know when people are going to be panic selling. And especially in FIFA 21, where you have discords and all these traders with their services telling thousands of people to buy and sell cards like this in influencing the market from an outside perspective as well to, in order to like know all of that, know when SBCs are good to complete, like what? Like, no, they're pro players. They're good at playing FIFA. That's why they're a pro, right? Although the goal is to win matches, foot isn't just about playing simulation football in the stadium, just as football isn't solely about the performance on match day. There are many areas where players need to be better than their peers in order to create an advantage on the pitch. Now, there is there is a slight... That is true, in a sense, because that's what we're trying to... That's what I'm trying to do here on this channel, right? Is not so much the gameplay aspect, but the economy monitoring the trading, everything but gameplay with content in this game, uh, they they want you to be a pro at it, right? They want you to be a pro. And that's what I'm here to do is to try to help you like think about these things using knowledge of the past and trading and in the market and try and figure out when is a good play to do this? When is a good play to do this? When should you wait to buy stuff? Because the market's going to go lower, right? But they want these pros to be not only just FIFA pros, but to be market gurus as well. Progression is a prerequisite if you intend to be a professional player in any sport and esports are no different. So I think that this is just crazy, 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 crazy from EA um, that they're saying a lot of this because it is, it's just way too far. It's way too far. I think there's a comment down below here that, uh, that puts it perfectly. Look at this comment. Their responses are extremely ingeniousness. Not sure if that's a word. And paint a picture of sunshine and rainbows. EA holds the football genre hostage and milk the player base of their money because obviously a lot of the general player base does not feel like they have the time or the ability to acquire all the items on the game without spending money. And that is where EA has set this game up to be. EA has set this game up to be, okay, you don't have the time or the ability to grind for a 15 million coin card uh, in February. Okay, well, here's here's a shortcut. Here's FIFA points that can maybe help you get there, right? And so that's how they're gonna see it. They're gonna say, yeah, you can play this game completely free. You can run an RTG, which is what we do. 
But obviously, they're going to try to format the game in a way that makes you want to spend FIFA points. Why do you think that, you know, the week before we have big promos, like before team of the year, we have massive coin draining SBCs or during during a promo, they release player pick packs and icon repeatable SBCs that drain coins off the market so that, oh, shoot, I'm out of coins because I did this icon moments or icon player pick SBC. Now I need to put on FIFA points when a promo comes that next Friday because I have no coins, right? And I need to get my coins back. So that's what I'm going to do. Because especially if the game is not making you happy, then why are you going to want to put in the time to grind it and to go out and try to, you know, better your ultimate team when you're just sick and tired of the game anyway? So that's why this whole thing is not actually what EA makes it seem, right? So if you're reading this article from like an EA or like an outside perspective, you're kind of like, Okay, yeah, they, they do have a point, right? But then you, you look inward and you see actually how they are making this game and throwing this game out, and it just does not make sense. It does not back up exactly what they're saying. Now, I want to take a look at a couple other things because I want to talk about, specifically, they said trading. They want you to trade, right? They want you to trade and make coins and be uh, involved in the economy monitoring on in, inside of FIFA 21. Now, this is from the EA help, right? FIFA rules. Don't buy coins, right? They say don't buy coins. There's a few ways to earn coins. Playing matches in foot, completing SBCs that have coins as, coins as a part of the reward, selling items or trading players for a fair price on the transfer market. So this fair price that we have right here, okay, we can trade players for a fair price. Yet, you set price ranges on this game uh, that make cards extinct oftentimes. You change price ranges to make cards extinct earlier when they could go higher, making people le make less coins, right? Or, um, you know, you create an extinct player on the game and fail to update that price range for multiple uh, weeks and stuff at a time. I mean, rem remember some of these cards that were extinct. Bruno Fernandez Headliner was extinct for such a long time. Other cards, Mbabu What If, like... Um, Road to the final Cancelo was extinct at some point this year on the game too. And, you know, EA, if you're going to be doing this stuff, if you're going to want us to sell these cards for fair prices, then we also need to have a fair market where we can trade these players without being inhibited by price ranges not being updated. Okay, that's my biggest issue with the fair price comment that they have here on this game. Selling items or trading players for a fair price. Price. All right. Now let's take it one step further. Now this is on um, EA's website again on the be safe with foot coins and FIFA points. Uh, when people are asked what not to do with coins or and people are asked, how do I earn those coins? Here's what they have said. Oh, that's the fair price thing again. But um, I thought these were two different things. Maybe not. The fair price thing is the one thing that gets me because uh, the fair, just that hold that word fair price. There are so many prices on this game that are, are not fair, right? Icon Moments Ronaldo. If you really want a fair price for this card, you have two options. You up the pack weight so he's actually on the market inside of your threshold, which seems to be 15 million coins for all cards in this game. Or you just up the price. Or you just up the price and let the market or the ecosystem, as you call it, work itself out. So that's why I think today a lot of the stuff that EA is saying is really... It's, it's two-faced. It seems very, very two-faced because they are wanting... That was a really good deal on bid right there in that sun. There's my economy monitoring skills coming into play right there. Um, they are wanting people to be pros at the game, but they're also wanting those pros to be able to know when to buy and sell cards and to make money. And I just think that EA saying that you can attain all items in the game without ever spending money with purchases being an entirely optional... Um, and they're making that sound so realistic. That's the issue that I have with this because it is definitely not realistic at all. It is not realistic at all, 100%, and that's the issue that I have. So um, wrapping this thing up, I, I'm really curious to see what EA do on the end of this, and I hope that there, there's some change from this whole thing in general. But again, as you heard EA mention it multiple times during that article and during the responses that they had to those questions, they keep saying this is for a limited number of items. This is a very small, you know, um, portion of the community. This is not happening. This is not widespread. 
So just the fact that they're using those types of words to describe what is going on in this game makes me think that we're probably not going to see too many changes. We'll, we'll hear the outcome of this. Maybe pro players and um, content granting will, will fall under a lot more stricter guidelines and, and stricter policies and, and changes now where you know pro players might not be able to get their cards, right? Whoever was doing this whole icon moment stuff might have just kind of ruined it a little bit for pro players or... Um, you know, celebrities that get their their, their cards from EA, um, they might not be able to do that anymore. So that might have been ruined because of the whole situation. But I really don't feel like you're going to hear a lot change about this because honestly, uh, EA thinks they're doing everything right and they don't need to change anything. But hopefully this causes a bunch of uh, just talk and hopefully something changes, whether it's price ranges being updated more fairly, more quicker, um, cause EA knows what they're doing with price ranges, right? They obviously have all of the, the stats and the knowledge on where prices or where cards should be priced in this game. Uh, day ones of promos when cards are extinct, uh, a lot of times, 100% of the time that's on EA sports because they should be making those price ranges high enough that when they first come on the market and get undercut, yes, there's going to be de some demand right there, but sometimes they're releasing these cards at, you know, headliner Lozano when he first released was extinct at a super duper low price. Yeah. Headliner. There was another card too. That was, uh, Oh, and Babu, right? Headliner and Babu or not headliner, but the, what if and Babu who was extinct right away from the beginning because he got that upgrade. EA would have, should have known they released that card on a day uh, or like really close to the day that his team actually played. So he was close to getting that upgrade and they would have known his price would have gone up if they would have got that clean sheet, which they did. And then his price went up and he was extinct. So that's the kind of issue that I have. And I just wanted to kind of bring you this conversation today to talk about it, talk it through and uh, just realize what is going on right now in FIFA 21 and how EA paints the picture this way to the media, but inside of the game, we see it a completely different way and definitely not exactly the same as EA pushed that uh, to the media. So that's the video for today, boys. Let me know your comments down in the description for real. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. It's crazy to follow that this is even a thing. It's like just to know that it's going on. So drop your comments down below. Of course, if you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Vote Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.